So this is I, I'm Gorgin. I'm Boyan. And you're watching Viewsmack.com. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, hey guys, uh, my name is Tone, this is Viewsmack.com, and I'm with the local Dubai band I, who will be opening for Evanescence tonight. Uh, this is Corrigan. Corrigan. And, uh, Boyan. sorry, I don't know your name. Boyan. Boyan. Uh, how's it Where are you guys from? Beginning. I'm from Iran. Uh, how do you guys meet you guys? Grew up in Dubai, Saudi Arabia. No, no, no. I was growing in Dubai. He just came no, I mean, he's been here for, for six, seven, seven years. years. I've been here for three. Mm -hmm. you know, Dubai is uh, not the kind of melting pot for people. Can you guys, because most of our viewers don't know if you're back. Because I, I, mean, I mean, I've gone for a lot of gigs. I know Metallica and stuff, Coldplay. You guys are open for them. What do you guys? What do you guys know? What kind of music do you guys have? I heard progressive, it's like progressive metal. Or... Yeah. Is it for progressive metal? Uh, it's basically, it's basically, yeah, it's basically a mix like you said in the first conference. It's, uh, it's kind of a mix of, yeah, it is prog, definitely. There are various members of the band who kind of listen to that. Type of music. We're all into it. Uh, but we also feel this really like uh, post rock. Uh -huh. and, and like I said, I come from uh, sort of an alternative slash indie background, so we kind of. It, it's it's pretty nice because the five of us, between the five of us, we mix uh, a lot of those influences. Obviously, you have your own sound. But if you have to draw a comparison, like a broad comparison, who would you guys sound like? I mean, you obviously sound like yourself. A bunch of bands, you know, sound like anything from, from a mix of uh, Tool, Raging Against the Machine, uh, King Crimson, Nine Inch Nails, Alice in Chains, Sound Garden, Three, you know, yeah. Yeah. So, would you say they're the same band for your influences? Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. They're all bands that you love and listen to. What you, what you love and you listen to growing up is definitely going to reflect when you're writing songs. So it's, it cannot be one band. It's just like multiple bands that just listen to it. So, what would you like to tell them? Uh, I mean, why would, why, why, what can they get? What can they get from the experience? Experience. That's, that's, that's what they can get. I like to call it a multi-sensory experience uh, because we have uh, incorporated visuals into our performances as well. That kind of are, you know, they're very thematic and they range from anything just abstract illustrations and then, you know, graphics to, to actually powerful, meaningful things that you see in everyday life. Uh, but yeah, the experience is basically a visual and oral experience. And uh, we like to, uh, we sort of pride ourselves on creating a very emotional experience for the audience and we really like to connect with them. So the experience is not going to be a pinpoint thing as I said before. The experience is going to be a platform that we communicate within it. It's not just us talking, it's, it's we trying to sort of make a union with the people down there. You know, that whole thing, that whole integration is just going to make an experience. Put them all together, yeah. grab them into yeah. the eye. You, 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 we all going to go back home with something new. Okay. Uh, us and them. Everybody going to go home, learn or experience something new. Cool. Uh, but you're talking about the visual experience part of your, of your performance. Do you guys design that yourself? Do you have a crew doing that? Yes. What inspires that? Those visuals, your songs? Like I said, it's it's very thematic. It's based on the theme of the song, and like I said, it can be anything from just abstract graphics and uh, kind of uh, illustrations to you know, like I said, uh, sometimes the guys go around just filming stuff, you know, somebody walking or segments from TV news, you know. It's supposed to give a sort of not. A purpose, but a clue of what the meant of the song. But meanwhile, the visuals are wide enough that you make your own meaning out of it. Yeah, and everybody's really kind of focused on that. Is that we don't impose anything upon our audience. You know, it's always open to interpretation, and that's the beauty of the performance. So coming to concert itself tonight, do you guys have any concert rituals? Like, which you do before, like, sacrifice or act, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'd be sitting here for you, yeah. No. Sacrifice things. <laughs> uh, but each person individually has a ritual, and which uh, we constantly do before anything. So it's very, very, very personal. And as a band, it's just a matter of before you go on stage, you can reconfirm the unity and then you go on stage. Yeah. So basic, cool. Basically, our audience is that people go to school and college. I mean, and you guys are following your dream, obviously, you play music and you opening for Evanescence. It's awesome. What advice could you give our audience? I mean, the youth. How to, you know, go ahead. Set that advice. Follow your dream. Follow your dream. <laughs> Follow your dream. How about in your own words? <laughs> 
because they don't want to hear me in the ear. Look, it's, uh, it's, it can be tough out here, as you know, for, for bands. It's, there's not a lot of support in, in financial terms, and it can be really hard for, uh, for bands, you know, to, to kind of create something of their own. Uh, generally, people have to go around playing covers, you know, to kind of make it. Yeah. And it takes really a lot of not only uh, support from a financial perspective of each of the band members here to get things you know, started uh, to, to kind of just being uh, really motivated and, and you know, keep going with it. So. Uh, how do you, I mean, apart from opening for bands, how do you, you have a website which they can go to hear your music or do you guys yeah. have MySpace? Do yeah, just, just if, yeah, we have a website, we do yeah, have MySpace. MTRExperiment.com. Uh, we have also Twitter, obviously we're on Facebook, iBand. Uh, we have, we can, you can find our record on uh, CD Baby, on iTunes, Amazon, any of the other di digital distribution. Uh, which is a cliche uh, question, but how do you guys find your downloading? Because, I mean, I download. We don't. We don't. don't. We don't. We don't. Like, at this point, you know, like, the way that music industry is shaped these days, it's, you know, you obviously don't make a lot of money from your phone. You know, selling a record itself. Exactly, yeah. physical sales, you know what I mean? So you make the money off of any The point of, of this shows. band was never to make money off of it anyway. So we don't counter downloading, we, we are just very neutral to it. And people who want to listen, they listen. I think at this point it's, it's more about getting our music out there and connecting with more listeners. So we're not we're not going to have some that kind of thing. We, you know. What you guys do that download? <laughs> What we used to when okay. I was young, okay. when I was young, I mean, uh, that was the only way to, growing up in Iran, that was the only way to get to good music. So, uh, yeah, obviously, see, the whole business model of how musicians make money is going to be very different from many years ago and going to continue being different because the mass public, they should not even spend money just buy the record. So I guess the whole business model is goes out that if you are any good, if you are out there, if you have a good connection in your audience in life, if you have a good life, then you make your money out of life. At the end of the day, also, if people really like your music, it's you know the whole Radiohead concept. How much do you want to pay for the music? If people like your music, they're gonna to want to pay something. And you know what? Any of the other bands in the scene, I don't actually download their music for free. I you know I go to the site, I go to CD Baby, and I download their album just for support. You know. You guys are your I mean what can I mean I'll pop in tonight to get if they like you where do they where do they hear your next love? We might we might do a gig in around September in Dubai. Uh, nothing sure about it yet, we might. And uh, we're gonna have a show of course in Poland if any of the fans are there. And then after that we, it, there's a very good chance that we hit the studio. Okay. Just record a second album. Um, we're gonna, like you said, maybe do the show. In October we have yeah. the show in the Netherlands, mm -hmm. the, the big festival. And then, yeah, by the end of the year, we'll open to the studio so we, can, we have a lot of new material. Hopefully by then we'll have, uh, you know, a complete set of songs that we can put down. Can you guys bits in the back? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is I and I'm Gorgon. I'm Boyan. We're MTR Experiment. And you're watching Youth Neck. Mm -hmm.